Assisting a patient with a bedpan. Introduction. Patients that are unable to leave the bed may need a bedpan. CNAs need to know how to assist a patient in using a bedpan. The bedpan is placed under the patient's hips to collect urine or feces. The head of the bed will need to be raised to a sitting position after the bedpan is placed to assist the patient with elimination. Privacy is important in every skill, but it's very important when performing skills where the patient will be uncovered or undressed. You will be using a privacy blanket to protect the patient's privacy and keep them warm while you perform this skill. You will definitely be exposed to body fluids during this skill, so gloves are mandatory. Put your gloves on before placing the chucks on the bed. You will need to spread a chucks, also known as an underpad or barrier, over the bottom sheet on the bed in case the contents of the bedpan spill. After providing privacy, putting on your gloves, and placing the chucks on the bed, you will have the patient bend her knees, place her feet flat on the mattress, and lift her hips off the bed. Place the bedpan under the patient's hips. Ask if it's positioned comfortably for the patient. The head of the bed needs to remain flat for the patient to be able to lift their hips enough to position the bedpan underneath. Do not elevate the head of the bed until the bedpan has been placed. If the patient cannot lift their hips, you can turn them onto their side and position the bedpan under the buttocks before turning them back onto their back. The part of the bedpan that looks like a toilet seat is what goes under the buttocks. The head of the bed will need to be raised to promote a natural position for elimination. Do not touch the bed controls with your contaminated gloves. Remove your gloves and then elevate the head of the bed to a comfortable level for the patient. Make sure the patient has their toilet paper and the call light and leave the area, making sure the curtain is closed for privacy. Get another pair of gloves while you're waiting. When the patient rings the call light, put the head of the bed back down and put on your gloves. Hold the front of the bedpan down and have the patient lift her hips once more. Remove the chucks and the bedpan, wrapping the chucks around the bedpan for transport to the bathroom. Body fluids that normally go into the toilet will be dumped into the toilet. The contents of bedpans will always be disposed of in the toilet. Then the bedpan will be rinsed, with the rinse water being deposited into the toilet as well. Finally, they're cleaned using the same cleaning technique that we use for all patient use items. After removing and cleaning the bedpan, the patient will need to wash his hands. Give the patient a hand wipe to clean his hands and collect the wipe with a dry paper towel to throw away. Then perform your closing. Watch the instructional video for step-by-step -step instructions on how this skill is performed, paying close attention to the order of the steps. After watching the video, try this skill on a classmate. 